I'm about to eat some instant noodles that nobody likes. It smells... it smells awful. But how did I get to this point? Let's rewind a bit. Wow. So I'm here in Parker Shop and the instant noodle shelves are pretty much empty. But not completely empty. Let's see which noodles people don't really want to buy, even when there's a shortage. In March 2022, when I shot this video, Hong Kong was experiencing the fifth wave of infections from the COVID-19 pandemic. People were afraid that food would run out or that they would be quarantined unexpectedly, so many items in supermarkets were out of stock, including everyone's favorite, instant noodles. But some brands and flavors were almost untouched on the shelves, and it's these unwanted noodles that I will be trying. So today we are going to try the uh, cup noodles. I have got uh, Yum Yum Authentic Thai Style Instant Noodles, Tom Yum Shrimp Creamy Flavor. Looking forward to this one. Lobster Bisque from the uh, Nissin. Yes, from Nissin. Somewhat looking forward to this. A little bit less so, I must say. And UFO, uh, unidentified flying object. This one was the stir noodles, super hot chili flavor. Um, some little reminders. Number one, don't eat instant noodles all the time. They are a treat, it's not proper food. You need to make sure that you're eating a healthy balanced diet. Number two, I'm not wasting anything. All of these will be finished by me and the unfortunate <laughs> other members of my family. And C, uh, do remember to recycle as much as you can, wherever possible. Um, obviously, anything involving boiling water um, or cooking of any kind, you need to make sure that you do that with your grown-ups, okay? Okay? All right. Okay, so this one, you've got to put the seasoning in your side. Look, you get a fork. Get a little fork. Fill boiling water to indicated line, close lid and wait for... Oh, add seasoning last. All right. So I'm going to add in the flavor oil now. Wow. That's hard. <laughs> what is this? There's lumps of something. It's like sand. Just look at this going in. It's literally like sand mixed with oil. Wow. Yeah, okay. I am very much seeing the Tom Yum. All right, let's try Tom Yum shrimp creamy flavor. This is the cup noodle that nobody wanted. I'm definitely getting the Tom Yum um, smell from that. Noodles are interesting. They're a little bit, maybe slightly darker, slightly browner than a lot of cup noodle noodles are. It's pretty much not spicy at all. Noodles are good, pretty chewy. Or a little, no, I'm getting a little, little bit of, bit of a kick of the, of the spicy now. It's not very tom yummy, but it's okay. Let's have another mouthful. All right, this is going to go to some other people in my home right now, and uh, I'm going to try number two. This is number two. This is the lobster bisque. Wow. That is very lobstery. Now I must admit this is a little bit of a disadvantage because I'm doing this one second and the Tom Yum, I can still taste the Tom Yum, quite frankly, but this is the lobster bisque. Um, color, similar to the Tom Yum. Kind of opaque, a little bit lighter perhaps. The noodles, pretty much the classic sort of uh, Nissin noodle, cup noodle color. We've got lots of little um, bits here. Maybe this is parsley or 
some other kind of seasoning, I guess. I mean, if I'm honest, I don't think it really helps itself by announcing itself like it's a comic book or something on the front here. Anyway, here we go. Let's give it a shot. This is the lobster bisque. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is very, that is very seafoody. Fairly lobstery. I'm not going to say it's very lobstery, but a, a little bit lobstery. There's, there's definitely notes of lobster in there. Pretty tasty. It's very salty. To be honest, I think you could sell this as like mussels um, or clams, uh, cup noodles, because I don't think that I can really tell the difference. But uh, not a mouthful. Let's try. I mean, I'm not sure that I'd buy it all the time, but. In an emergency, I'd, I'd eat this again. And not even an emergency, you know what? I'd eat this every now and then, as just something to have, just to just to make things a little bit different from time to time. All right, here we go. So next, open the beware of it. Yeah, yeah. Remove lid. Add seasoning powder and seasoning oil. Stir well and serve. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna add in the uh, powder first. How hot's it gonna be? Now, obviously, you can. Whew, now this looks pretty hot and spicy. Look at that. Ooh, yes, okay. Red oil going in, followed by... Red... <laughs> what is that? Gross. It's like treacle. Look at that, it's not even breaking off. Wow. This is some kind of very dark red, burgundy, some kind of whew, stuff. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's gonna be spicy. It's kind of nice, quite fragrant, I would say. Bit of a kick to it as well. You can tell that there's some spiciness in there. It's mixed up quite nicely. Let's give it a shot. It's pretty salty, it's quite tangy. Not too hot at the moment. A little bit sweet. A little bit hot afterwards. Mm -hmm. Nothing too terrible. That's pretty hot now at the back of my throat. But not overpowering. I've had hotter. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is pretty spicy. I also feel it kind of loses out a little bit by not having the soup with it. It's not completely dry, but then again, it's not, it's not soup noodles either. Now, nobody else in my family likes food as spicy as this. So um, I'm going to finish this one and then I will come back afterwards, tidy up a little bit and tell you my verdict on these three cup noodles. All right, so I have uh, finished, or rather we have finished these uh, three cup noodles. We had the Tom Yum Shrimp Creamy, we had the Lobster Bisque and the UFO Super Hot um, Chicken. Uh, I'm sniffing a little bit. That was actually pretty hot and my lips are on fire right now. I think in terms of, you know what, I've got an award for all three. My favorite one was the UFO. I do like nice spicy food and it was a little bit bigger. So I feel a little bit more satisfied with this kind of size of cup noodle. So that gets the, uh, the Mr. O favorite award for this episode. Um, I'm gonna give it the um, authenticity uh, award to the uh, yum yum because uh, it really smells like tom yum soup so well done in a cup I mean it's not excellent tom yum soup but it yeah not too bad uh, I'm gonna give this um, the uh, mr. O try something new award and um, it it was pretty good I mean as I say I don't know if I'd eat it all the time but I uh, I think you should give it a shot. Give the lobster bisque uh, Nissin Cup noodle a try. Try something new. Um, I don't think that you will be disappointed. So there we are. Join me for another episode of Mr. O Eats the Noodles That Nobody Else Wanted. Join me next time for some more unwanted noodles, including cheese-flavored instant noodles.